All right, what's up, Eld? I figured I would just record you a video uh, to show you how to, to get this training out of the way for you. Um, so I'm just gonna go over everything that you need to do uh, to get started, how easy it is. So first of all, I'm gonna go over all of the different things that you need. Um, so the first thing, the raw sugar. Uh, so the only thing that you need to make that, you need mineral water and raw sugar. Uh, and that makes the lump of raw sugar. Actually, weirdly enough, it looks like it's profiting right now to make it, so you might want to look into that. But all you do is heat it. Heat them together. Make sure you get raw sugar. Regular sugar won't work. And that's all you need to do to uh, get the raw sugar. Next thing you need is capture ropes. Horses you go to the stable master here. Or any Bear stable master, no you get capture ropes. And eating well cures everything. I just buy about like a hundred of them. Um, in Duvencrone to get this set up. Buy this house right here. It's a level five horse ranch. And it adds five stable slots. And it's eight contribution points. Um, you're definitely going to need that um, to do this efficiently because you want to have extra tier fives in the in the bank with you. So outside of that, that's all you really need to get started. Well, I take that back. You're also going to need trainer's clothes. I use the silver embroidered. Um, that doesn't really help with the... Uh, actual capturing, but it's going to help you with the mount XP to get you, get the horses leveled up faster. Um, other than that, you're also going to need a wagon. So you can just go in here, um, get a noble wagon. There's tons of them on the market, so you can just you can just buy one really easy, and that'll last you probably three or four days. Um, I'll show you how to use that after this. Oh, another thing. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my trainer's clothes on. If you have uh, mastery accessories, go ahead and throw those on. Those are just gonna help um, level you up faster. So those are all going to give you life XP. Um, I also use uh, trainer's clothes as a costume. Um, so that gives you horse capture rate, gives you mount skill XP, mount XP, and training XP. Um, so what you need for that... Um, you go to a luxury vendor um, and buy those. And then you come in here, go to Pearl Item, Functional, and Equipment Tailoring Coupon. Um, so you can turn that into a costume if you're serious about it and you want to get into it. Um, that way you can wear that along with your silk embroidered um, just to give you bonus XP. Alright, so from Duvencroon, uh, this is the south entrance right here. You're going to go down this road right into this area here. Um, that's where all the horses spawn. So I'm going to go down there and show you. Okay, kind of cross the bridge. Take it right, right in here. Right here is where all the horses spawn. Um, let's see here. So it looks like all the horses have been taken. Um, so this is actually a good, good learning thing for you. Uh, if you come down here, and you don't see any horses. You're gonna have to hop servers. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop. So how this works, um, to do this efficiently, um, you're going to go to a server, come down here, 
Um, see if there's horses, first of all. If there are horses, uh, you're going to capture all of them. Um, and then once you deplete all of them uh, on the server, uh, then you're going to hop to the next server and do it again. So right here, there are horses right here. Um, there's two of them here. There's one down here. Uh, they usually just kind of roam right here in this area. Uh, they can come up here, um, but that's pretty much where they are, so they're all pretty um, concentrated, so you'll know if they're here or not. Uh, unfortunately, there's no minimap icon for them, um, so you're just going to have to actually find them. So once you're down here, uh, you equip capture rope. You gotta come up to it kind of slow. If you get too close, you'll spook the horse and it'll run away. And then you have to try to approach again. So as soon as these, um, the crosshairs turn red like that, you can throw your rope. So let's try this. You have to play a little mini game. Hit A in there, and then you're just gonna start walking towards it. If it rears, let's see here. I'm just gonna stop and wait for it to rear. So you wanna wait for that animation to stop, and then you hit A, and then you just have to hit B repeatedly. Until the timer runs out, and then you approach again. Once you get here, um, use item, then you use your uh, raw sugar on it. So again, like I was talking to you about, um, there's some kind of tinfoil about whether this actually does anything or not, or if it's just the timing. Um, the way that I've always done it is I do three. That's just the guide that I read. That's how I learned how to do it. Um, you can kind of mess around with that if you want. So after you get the three in, you switch back to mount and then you jump on. So it didn't kick me off, so now it's captured. So um, one thing that's gonna save you a lot of time, um, this is as fast as you can go on the horse. Um, it won't go any faster, you can't get it to, to run or sprint. Um, so to make this go faster, you have to mount it. As soon as you mount it, it'll follow you. So after you mount it, you get off, you get on your main horse, and then you're going to head back up to the stable master. You can go as fast as you want, and it will always follow you, uh, so you don't have to worry about that. Alright, back up to the stable master. So with this, um, it can be a little bit buggy. Um, it will follow you. Um, sometimes it just takes forever. So just have to hang out and wait for it to come. It'll usually just, yeah, there it is. It's following me. Um, so with this, you want all of your XP you gain. Oh, that was weird. There it is. All the XP that you get from this is going to be from actually turning it in. Uh, you don't get any XP for the roping or anything like that. All the XP comes in right here. So you want all of your buffs active. Uh, I run Seafood Cron. I'll run a Verter Drought. Um, I have my Tent buff, uh, Turning Gates, and then I'm also running a Life Book right now. Um, so, let's see here. Right now, I'm 18.85% into Artisan 2. Um, let me pop my verter. So you talk to this guy. Whoever said feeding put a stable. Meat makes them and then right faster. down here, it'll say press A to register. Uh, you can name it. I don't really care about that. And then you just um, put it into the stable. So once you kind of get a feel for this, um, you'll you'll notice that the different uh, skins on the horses matter. Um, that one that we just captured is a tier 5. The green uh, is a tier 5. Um, these kind of yellow and red are tier 5s. This kind of pinkish color is a tier 5. And then this red and, and white and black is also a tier 5. 
Now, I'm pretty sure that those are all of the tier 5s. Um, but while you're just grinding for XP, um, you're going to capture all of them anyway. Um, but if you're just trying to, to get uh, four horses um, to go AFK with, you can keep that in mind. So with that turn in, I went to 23.37% uh, into Artisan uh, 2. So, I mean, the XP is pretty fast once you get the hang of this. You can just run back and forth and get it done. Um, no, I'm not curious to know what so you like I already to have a tier so five no in tell me. Um, in the stable that's level 15. Um, so once you get your horses to level 15, you're gonna go to Imperial Horse Delivery. It's gonna tell you how much that you're gonna get for the horse, and you're also gonna get seals. Um, it's 732,000 uh, for that. So I mean, this isn't huge money from the actual horse, but it's all all in the seals. Um, and then, so if I were to register on that on the market, um, it would be worth double that. Um, but it's going to take a lot longer to sell, and, and it doesn't outweigh the seals by any means. Uh, so I'm going to sell this guy. Imperial Horse Delivery, sell it. I have five seals. Once you get 12, you'll get a Black Essence Viper. Uh, you don't want to spend... You don't want to spend your, your seals on anything else. They're not worth it. Um, it's all for the Black Essence Viper. So, once you get four tier Horses fives and you're ready to horse. AFK for the night, check my horse in. You pull out your wagon. So you're going to register your wagon. Um, I need to repair it. So you're going to go uh, to Connect Wagon. It looks like I already have four already hooked up, um, but all you do is, is connect or disconnect. Um, so you hook four of them up, and then you just take it out. So now my wagon's out and ready to go for the night. Um, if you look down there, the durability, um, it's this is going to break tonight. Um, with that being said, um, a broken uh, merchant wagon is still better XP than any of the other wagons. So even if you just wanted to use the broken wagon, it's still decent XP. It's not bad. Uh, obviously, you want to spend the money to um, get it up there, but it's not bad. So you're going to head up. I always head up to the top here to start my route. And then you're going to um, set your, your waypoint down here um, to auto path back and forth. So a couple of other things. Um, so I'll, I always eat a, a seafood cron um, before I go to bed. They're only going to last two hours, um, but that's two hours of extra XP. Um, don't use burgers because they obviously only last 15 minutes. Um, which you're going to want a Celerity Droughts. They last three hours. Um, there's another version on the market. They tend to always be sold out. Um, I used to put pre-orders in on them. Um, they really don't come through that often. Um, but they're the unbridled version. And those last for six hours, so they'll last um, for a majority of the night. Um, so now that I'm out here here. Set your auto path. Um, if you don't know how to do that, it's just um, left trigger and then your waypoint. When it turns green, that means that your auto path is set. Go right back and forth. So with this, I always do, I always watch one full rotation of the auto path before I get off for the night. Uh, just to make sure that I'm not stuck anywhere. You might have to fiddle with it a little bit. Um, you won't you won't get stuck on the actual path, um, but on the turns you might. 
So right there you saw um, that I went up onto those stairs. Um, if you have your, your auto pass set in a bad spot, um, sometimes you'll get clipped on the little signpost up there. And then down at the bottom of the route, um, there are some wagons and things like that um, that you get stuck on. So um, outside of that, that's pretty much it. Um, again, a majority of your XP is going to come from uh, taming the horses. So I would generally do maybe half hour to an hour of clearing all of the horses on a server, jumping servers and repeating. Um, make sure that I have four tier fives. Obviously, in mine, I have a lot more. Um, that's just why so I have backups in case I don't have time to um, get new tier fives for the next day. You, all, you don't have to do that. Uh, it's just nice to have them. Um, so that's about it. Um, you're going to catch tier fours and tier fives. Um, just automatically sell the tier fours. They're not, they're not worth training. Um, you'll only get four seals for them instead of five. So we're coming up on the end of this path right here. So I'm turning. Let's see here. Yep, and I'm stuck. So this is why you want to make sure that you, um, the wagons in this game are really bad to control, if I'm being honest. Um, so, uh, yeah, you're just going to have to kind of fiddle with it. Um, you might, I think, going down a little bit more or up a little bit more uh, is the ideal. Uh, there's less stuff in a way for you to get caught on. Um, and then obviously that staircase up there. Um, you don't want to go too far out this way because you'll um, go into open world instead of a safe zone um, and people can grief you. Uh, knock you off of the wagon, you know, do all that stuff. So basically you just won't get any XP for that night. So you want to make sure that um, on that turn you're not going out of the safe zone. Um, back in the day, uh, before this auto sprint thing, people would just um, use level 49s uh, so they couldn't get PvP. But obviously you're doing this specifically for um, the auto sprint. So... Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I will actually give you um, a little demo really quick, too, of the um, auto sprint, just so you can see uh, what the difference is, because it is pretty significant. And Duvencroon is, is widely accepted to be, like, the um, horse training area. I don't see. One of them just got a level and I learned a skill, which is nice. Gets it closer to possibly being a courser, which is just extra money. Um, so I'll put my wagon away. I pull out my horse. set a path out here. Alright. So obviously you're used to this. This is how fast you're going to go uh, without the auto sprint. And then turning it on. That's how fast you're going to be going. So like I said, it pretty much cuts your, your travel time in half. So in my opinion, it's worth it. It's good money. Um, I probably should start doing it overnight again. It's probably the best overnight money you can make. I just get really lucky with fishing. Um, but with Relic Shards being so cheap, it's just not really worth it anymore. Um, to make the same amount of money that you would make from horse training, you would need to get probably... I think the last time I checked Relic Shards, they were only like 500k each, so you would need to get like 66 Relic Shards a night, which is not possible. On a good night, you might get 20 if you're super, super lucky. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm probably gonna actually horse train tonight. 
you have any other questions, let me know. Later.